Hello guys, this is Mujin Lord here, and I'm back again with another exciting tutorial. I know it's been a while since I posted a tutorial, but now I'm back. Now, I have received a lot of personal messages about um, how to create a character for Mujin. And this tutorial has been posted for a little over a year now, and a lot of people have been sending me more responses saying when I want to put up part two. And I'm sorry, please forgive me. I haven't got a chance to get back with um, a created character part two. But now since I'm here, I decided that I wanted to start over with the character creation. I call it the character creation series. This is where I upload different sections on how to create a character. This is for more of from beginner to advanced users. Now, before I begin, I just want to let you know that in order to start creating characters, you have to have a beginning process, which is finding sprites. In order to create characters, you need to have sprites. Unless you're an artist, you can sketch your own sprites all together. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find sprites, where to locate them, and how to download them and how to separate them into different frames and show you what files to save the, the sprites as in order for you to upload them onto Fighter Factory. So let us begin. Don't mind my, my desktop is uh, kind of junky and everything. I have all kinds of stuff that dis, that's disorganized. And if you guys are wondering um, what characters are these are in my wallpaper, these are characters to my upcoming RPG called Galenia Dreams. So stay tuned for a trailer of that on uh, my Motion TV channel. Okay, so um, let's begin. So if you guys have um, an internet browser like Mozilla Firefox or uh, AOL or Internet Explorer, just click on either one of those and we'll begin. I'm going to use Firefox. Okay, let's begin. I just want you guys to know that I have all the material prepared already. So if you guys are wondering how am I pulling up everything so fast, I have all this stuff prepared for you guys. This is just a quick overview. So what we're going to do is I'm going to post up the link and I'm going to enter. The name of this site is called Sprite Database. If you guys are wondering how to access Sprite Database website, right here where I highlight it, the name of the site is, well, inter, inter, insert it into the search box, sdb.drshnaps.com. I repeat, type in sdb.drshnaps.com. All right, so let us begin. The Sprite Database is a website full of Sprite content for you Mujin lovers, for you um, Mujin collectors, and for a lot of hobbyists who collect uh, Sprites. So, on the left side of the website, you have Brews or Browse by System on your left side. You can find Sprites pertaining to whatever console or computer or arcade machine. So, you have... Uh, Consoles ranging from the Master System, Genesis, Game Gear, and oh yeah, they got the Wii. Yeah, I guess they just added that. So we're going to go to the PS2 section. This is this is where we're going to find our first sprite. So I'm going to click on PS2. And just a little note for you guys: um, everything is arranged in alphabetical order. So whatever game you're looking for, just find that alphabet, and there you go. And another thing, um, some characters come with voice packs. So when you upload your images and your sprites onto Mujin Fighter Factory, you can um, upload also the sprite, um, uh, my fault, the voice packs to your characters. So you can add sound effects to them and everything. So I'm going to scroll down and find a particular game of a sprite that I'm looking for. And up the top, highlight it in each category is the name of the game. I'm going to use Namco X Capcom and below it is the sprite names. I'm going to use Ryu, very simple, very basic. And you click on the name. Once you click on it, you'll see a white background with a sheet, which is called a sprite sheet. You'll see a magnifying glass once you highlight the sprite sheet. Just hit the left click on your mouse and it zooms in. 
What you see here is action frames to Ryu from Nanko X Catcom. Each frame he has a different pose, different action, but most of them are frames to one particular move, as you see here. If you go down to the bottom, you see a huge picture of Ryu, which you can use for your character select screen or for Ryu's um, hyper and super special attacks. Alright, so I know you guys are wondering, like, okay, what the heck I'm going to do with this sprite sheet? It's so many frames on here. How do I separate them? How do I even upload them on Fighter Factory? We're going get to get to that in a second. So what you do now is you right click on the sprite sheet and you save the image as. They're going to ask you where do you want to save the image at. You save the um, sprite sheet into wherever location so you can better find it. Make it easy, easy to access. And we're going to move on to the next step.